Hello and welcome to the course. So before we start coding, let's take a look at the projects that we are going to make. So the project is a React T-shirt store. So as the user is in the home page, so he can browse T-shirts. So here we have the title, the rating, sizes and colors of each product. And we can here see if the product is in stock or out of stock. We can load more products. We can filter products or t-shirts by colors. So here we get the products that offer the select color. Also, we can choose another color or go back to all colors. We can also filter by sizes and here we have the products which offer the selected size. Also we can go back to all sizes. We can look or search for a product and here we have the result. If we search for something that doesn't exist, we get a message telling us that no products found. And also we can view products. And here we have the title, the body, price, and also we have the sizes and color. So this product has only one color. We can view images on full screen. Also, we can choose size, color, and add to our cards. And also, we can choose mini sizes. And if we have the same color and same size in the cart, so we have a message telling us that products already added to your cart uh, and if the product is out of stock I can't add it to my cart uh, so this product is out of stock so I can choose size color quantity but I cannot add the product to my cart because it's out of stock uh, can also move uh, to the cart uh, increment the quantity or decrement the quantity, remove products from the cart, continue shopping, choose another product, another size, color, add to cart, and this product has one review. We can view reviews here, and customer who added the review. And also I can add my own reviews, but I need to buy this product to review it. So let's go here to the cart and we can move to the checkout. But to move to the checkout, you need to be logged in. So let's register a new user. Hit submit uh, and account created successfully. Let's log in. Hit submit uh, and now I am logged in. So let's go back again to the cart, uh, check out, and here I have the product name, color, size, quantity, price. Uh, and also the second product, I have the discount the total. And to proceed to the payments, I need to add my billing details here. And also I can apply coupons. So if I choose a coupon that doesn't exist, so I get a message telling me that this coupon is invalid. So let's provide the billing details. So we need the phone number, the address, zip code, city, country, hit submit and now we can proceed to the payment and also we have here the backend so let's find a coupon so we can use it just to see how the 
coupon works so we have here a valid coupon so we can use it here and apply it and once applied so here as you can see we have the coupon name this button to remove the coupon and the amount deducted and total and we can remove the coupon and the total back again to the original price and we can apply it again so let's hit apply and coupon applied successfully now let's proceed to the payment and here we have stripe checkout form so let's add the test card hit pay now and order paid successfully let's move to the profile so here i have the user details i can update my user details also i have the orders so this is the orders that i have done so the product name the quantity the price the total and order dates and the delivered dates also i can change my profile image so let's choose this image upload and as you can see profile image updated successfully so let's go back to the home page so now i have purchased this product so i can now add a review so let's add a review and once the review added so it needs to be approved by the admin and it will be published soon and here we have the back end so the back end once the admin is in the dashboard so he can view today's orders yesterday's orders this month's orders and this year orders can also view colors he can add colors edit colors and delete colors he can also view sizes add size edit size delete size or search for size he can also edit delete and add coupons and here we have the name of the coupon the discount and validity so this one is valid until one week from now and this one is expired also we have the products and admin can add the products with many images sizes and colors he can also update products set it out of stock or in stock and delete products and search for products we have also orders and here we have the product name, the price, the quantities, the total, the coupon, used, and user, and done, and the delivered date. So I can here update the delivered at date. And once updated, as you can see, we have here delivered one second ago. And also here, if I go to my profile orders, so it's not appearing here, but if I refresh the page, so now as you can see delivered 20 seconds ago and also we have the reviews uh, and the reviews are here so we have the title the body the rating and if it is approved we have yes like this one if no we have no and user and product and we can approve it uh, so if it is approved then uh, you will see this icon if i want to hide it so i click on this icon so now the review has been approved so i can go back again to the product so here and i can see my review here i can update it as you can see i can cancel the update so let's update it let's give it just one star and add something else here let's update and once updated so it will disappear again why because the admin needs to approve it again so let's approve it again and once approved now i can go back 
to the home page and let's return back to the product and we will see that we have now two reviews with average rating changed and here we have the two reviews and i can also delete my review so once deleted it will be removed and as you can see the average has changed and we have only one review and also here it will be removed and we have only two reviews and also we have the users and here we can manage the users so we can delete a user that we choose so this is the projects that we are going to create so before you enroll in this course so please read the requirements carefully for this course and if you feel that you are ready so see you in the next lecture